Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate your HTTP interceptors in Angular 18. So we will take a look at the spinner and as well as the interceptor to get this working. And I will show you the difference with the previous version and the standalone version in the Angular 18. So come, let's get started. So friends, before we dive in, this is the GitHub link where you will find every single project that I'm demonstrating. So feel free to go through and browse whichever project you like. For this specific video, I will post the exact link of the repository in the video description itself. If you would like to follow me on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter and GitHub, these are the links that you can click and follow me. I will be more than happy to collaborate with you. So don't forget to follow me. Now let's dive into the video. So the one that you're seeing is the sample application. It's just a brand new Angular 18 standalone application. It's a standalone. Okay, I'll explain you what is standalone. Okay, so what we are going to do in this video is whenever there's a HTTP call going out, I wanted to show the spinner automatically. Also, I wanted to show some toaster message according to what the calls are going out. Okay, so that is the simplest thing. So you write code in one place and that's it it will take care of everything. So let's take a look. So now this application is protected by Azure AD B2C. So I have to log in. Let me first log in. All right, so I have logged in. Now you can see uh, some basic informations on the clients, but here is what I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's take a look at the network tab and I'm going to hit on this button, which will trigger a HTTP call. Okay, see, you can see as soon as the trigger is done, you can see two pop-ups coming up and you can also see there's a spinner automatically coming, right? So this is the real API that's going out and getting us some information. So how are we doing this? That is what I'm going to show you now. So this is the code. I will show you where is the code, uh, but all what we have to do from first is we have to install two packages and those packages are called NGX spinner and NGX toaster. Okay, so these two packages we have to install. After you install, go to angular.json and add the CSS that is related to these two packages. And that is what you can see here, right? Uh, you can see the toaster as well as the animation from the spinner. So these two CSS is important. Once you're done with that, how this works is, this is a standalone application. So you can see something different compared to the previous older version of Angular. And there is some file called main.ts. Okay, this is the place where we do a bootstrapping. So this is the equivalent of the main ng module that we have, right? It is something kind of, you know, uh, that's, this is where you bootstrap everything. So what we are bootstrapping is, we are bootstrapping the app component as well as some application configuration. So what is application configuration? Application configuration will have all of these providers and all of these things. For this video, the only thing that you have to do is under the provide import provide forms you need to place this one which is the browser animation module and for the toaster we copy paste this one and then we also use the spinner module so these two modules generally in the previous version you will be adding this in the import statement of the ng module instead you have to put it into the application configuration all right once we are done with these two we are going to create an interceptor Interceptor, nothing but a, a basically uh, an implementation of a HTTP interceptor. Okay, so that is injectable, which means it's a service. All right, so all what we do is we provide the interceptor implementation here. In this, what we're doing is whenever the request is going, we are initiating the uh, spinner as well as the toaster. And when it is uh, successful, we also show it is successful. If it is failure, we show failure. And at the final stage, we stop the spinner. This is the only place we configure how the spinner and the toaster comes. And that will take care of every single call that's going out. Okay. We don't need to write the spinner and other stuff uh, everywhere in our component. And this will take care. Now, where do you do this? HTTP interceptor. Go back to the same application configuration here you have to provide this interceptor in the provide http client configuration after this one right after this line you need to place your interceptor configuration here so basically under application configuration all of this providers and import section will come here so in this 
video whatever we saw the only code that you need is from here to here okay in this mainly we will add these three modules as well as two providers that's it this will make your angular application work so basically angular 18 is standalone which means you take any component right that component is now not part of any ng module there is no ng module concept here instead an import section will come in the declaration itself along with the property called standalone so if you say standalone true you can import the modules directly into the component that will you know act as the full ng module that's the whole concept of angular 18 standalone it's very beneficial and powerful we will talk in depth about this uh, angular 18 standalone and a lot of feature uh, in the upcoming videos one by one right so we will develop from scratch and uh, if you're interested uh, follow me in the github channel so you know as and when the code is checked in you'll know that something is coming up all right if you feel this video is useful don't forget to subscribe share this with your friends and follow me on all of my social network all right guys see you on the next video thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding